Hello, everyone. So, I'd like to make a follow-up video about the video that a uh, that I made last night. I am not going to pull it. I am not going to remove it. Um, but I'd like to talk about what happened in consequence of it, which I was actually <laughs> very pleased by how it kind of um, went over because everything happened, like everything that happened, I was expecting to happen. And, you know, she just continued to prove my points. So I knew, or I said in the video, that she would, my brother's ex-girlfriend, she would find a way to watch the video even though she has blocked me on Facebook. And that is exactly what happened. I posted it on my brother's Facebook wall and she found it. Now, the funny point of what I'm trying to make is she's still scrolling through his profile and all of his shit after she's broken up with him and found it, which I knew she was going to, so thank you for just proving my point. Um, and ended up watching it <laughs> with her new boyfriend in uh, a room in the apartment. And, I mean, thank you so much for just proving my point exactly, that you still can't leave other people's business alone to the point where you still have to sift through your ex-boyfriend's stuff with your new boyfriend around because you're just psycho. Um, and my brother had told me that they were laughing the whole entire time. Which, again, I was expecting because no shady person is going to um, be okay with another person acknowledging or bringing to light their faults. Uh, they can do it themselves, but, I mean, God forbid somebody knows better than them. Um, because, like I said before, she thinks she's hot shit. Um, so, you know, I was expecting her to be laughing, because that's just the kind of, uh, person she is. Uh, but as I said in response to my brother, that, you know... What's actually going to be funnier than that is when her new boyfriend dumps her sorry ass and she ends up being a stripper again. That's going to be hilarious. Um, she's just going to, like, have a huge, massive rude awakening. And maybe it'll end up with her being homeless or on drugs. Who knows? Um, you know, she's so beyond anybody else's help that, like, you know, I... Uh, She's beyond me feeling bad for her, and she should be beyond anybody feeling bad for her, because, um, yeah, I mean, I, there's only so much bullshit that I can deal with until I just want to deck that person in the face. Um, and, I mean, God, anybody who was around her for more than ten minutes, I'm surprised that they could be around her for more than ten minutes, because I would have just smacked that bitch. Um, so, yeah, so that happened, that was the response f that she gave f to the video that was not publicized. Uh, then this morning, later this morning, after I woke up, I found out that she called the cops on my brother, and, you know, I was trying to reach him, I'm like, well, what the fuck happened, you know, like, why did she call the cops on you? Um, just trying to figure out the reason behind it. And I guess what it is normally called is kind of like detaining someone against their will. But what had happened was she had a bunch of his shit that she wasn't giving back to him. And he didn't want her to leave the apartment without getting it back. So instead of being the adult she seems to think she is, um, or being a normal civil human being um and again proving just how psycho she is um and just absolutely a heartless wench 
um, ended up calling the cops on him. Just because she wouldn't give him his stuff back. You see, you see where there's a little question of sanity in that, in that whole situation, right? Um, yeah. So, it looks like a lot of this shit that's happening is going to be taken to civil court because she's just not cleaning up her shit and, um, she can't get her shit together and just can't leave well enough alone even though she seems to think that she has moved on and has her new boyfriend and blah blah blah. Um, no, she still has to ruin shit for everyone else. So, yeah, that happened. And if that's not enough of a confirmation of, a, of somebody who is just... in need of psychiatric evaluation, I don't know what is. And I know that this this video and last night's video are a bit of a contradiction to my coming out video. And I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this, people who don't know me personally, are like, wow, she got really mad and wow, that's kind of mean, like, you know, whatever. News flash to everyone. I have never claimed to be a nice person. And I think it's funny that people assume that I'm a nice person. I can be nice. And for the most part, I am nice. Um, because basically, my life philosophy is, if you're nice to me and other people, and we don't got a problem, I'm, I'm going to be nice to you. If you're nice to me, we're fine. If, however, you screw me over, or screw over people that I'm close to, then we're going to duke it out and we're going to have a big fucking problem. And that is what has happened here. So in light of my video around noon today, my brother sends my father a screenshot of what Emily uh, posted on her Facebook profile. And it says... And I quote, anyone who is friends with Jordan can remove themselves from my friends list. I want no part of him or anyone associated with him any longer. He has caused me so much strife in my life and even breaking up, he has, oh, he has to say things to make me look bad and hurt me. So if you know him and choose to think he's a good person, I am sorry, but we can't be friends. I just don't want to have anyone involved in what I am doing if they still like him. Blah, 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 all this bullshit. And so basically she's just going to go through her friends list and delete anybody that um, is associated with my brother. And as I said before, and in a message to her before she blocked me, that she has a massive fucking issue with trying to create teams and get people on her side uh, because she seems to think that she's in kindergarten. And so that's exactly what she's doing. And I'm pretty sure that this is in light of me publicly talking about her and her psychosis. And it's just, it's so, it's so funny to me that she says, you know, he has said these things to make me look bad and hurt me. Well, if anybody had a brain, which apparently a lot of her friends don't, if any person with a brain was around her long enough and saw the shit that she'd pull, they would know that nobody else needs to make her look bad. She's doing it on her own, and she's very good at it. Uh, I mean, nobody has to try to make her look bad, and all I've done is bring truth to the situation and just share it as it is. You guys are more adult than she is, and I'm assuming that you all have brains. Um, so you guys can judge her for what she is. That's up to you guys. I'm just telling you the facts of the matter and the bullshit that has happened. Like, nobody can make her look any worse than herself. And 
I mean, that's that's the sad thing. If if I was lying about any of the shit, it would be a different story, but all I've done like I can't make this shit up, you guys. Like she 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 thinks that he and other people are making her look bad when that's exactly what she has done to my brother by twisting and I know this for a fact, twisting my own words about my brother to try to get people again on her side. So, I mean, yeah, she thinks she's she's an adult uh, because that's what adults do, kind of create teams like they're in grade school. Um, yeah, she's kind of living in this childlike fantasy that, you know, she has to win people over and that will make her popular, such a great person, and that's not how it works. What I was saying before, though, about my coming out video and how this is a bit of an ironic contradiction to that video. And I said in that video that Jesus does not like fighting. And he does not. So, I'd like to say that when I make videos like these, they're very spur of the moment. And I really don't think about, about, um, that sounds kind of bad, about Jesus while doing them. Because, um, I cannot deny or put away the emotions that I have and try to push them down. And he knows that. So, the only thing I've done is bring out the truth of the matter and, um, and sometimes the truth can be a bitch. And I know, like I said before, that I'm sure there were a few people on here that were watching this that were like, holy shit, like, she's really mean and angry and, you know, whatever. And... You know, if you had to deal with this bullshit or see family members that you love deal with this bullshit too, you get just, just as angry and just as frustrated. Um, I mean, there's, there's only so much that you can do to try to get out of a situation like this until, you know, you kind of have to get... I don't even want to say get nasty. I mean, the only the only nasty person in this whole situation is her, and all I've done is just say the truth, and then that makes me a nasty person. Well, you know, sometimes the truth fucking hurts, and that's exactly what's happened here. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna make other videos today. I'm not really sure what about, or at least I plan on making other videos today. Not really sure what they're gonna be about yet. But that was just a little bit of an update as to all the fucking ruckus and drama, unnecessary drama, that this, oh, this sad, sad, sad person has put my family through. All right.